Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also gonna let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. One of the things I want to kind of start out with, because I want people to really get a sense of how empowering this can be. You take people to a place called the home world and you've done it with me and you've done it with so many others. Tell us a little bit about what that is and maybe how that relates to this sole purpose and maybe truly living the life that we were born to live. Mm, thank you for starting on that beautiful note. It just brings tears to my eyes to consider how people's lives have been transformed by that kind of homecoming. It's really mm. coming home to the fullness of your soul and all of its abundance and yourself, and there really is no greater gift. And when I first started, just to give a little history about what the heck Darius is talking about, home world, mm -hmm. what? <laughs> which is great, it was a perfect lead-in, Darius, <laughs> is um, at one point I said, I know way long time ago, way before I started this 25 years ago, I know there are bigger worlds than this. And then the book on the deities mm. came out and a few other books, Bringers of the Dawn, came out. I said, yeah, that just resonates with me so much more than just this is it. I knew there were past lives and all of that. And then I read Michael Newton's work, which is uh, Journey mm. of the Soul Between Lives, and I went, that's cool that he's t people are talking about what happens between lives, but I want to know where did I come from and what's got this whole party started? And because I'd taken hypnotherapy and someone said, well, where am I from? I said, well, let's go find out. <laughs> so I've taken people on journeys and we're going to take a journey today to the um, home world, the beginning point, the field of creation that you've come from, where your soul essence is birthed, where it's where the field of abundance lies, where your Akashic records are, where your purpose is, all of that take you on a journey there so you can experience it directly. When you experience that space called home, it's like everything we want is to feel mm. at home in our skin, to feel safe. And when you experience it and bring it into your body, which we're going to do, that's the big thing about soul fire is bringing it into your body, experiencing it directly here. Then, as Darius has been saying, you will feel inspired to live the fullness of your life and not be afraid to dive into whatever it is is yours to bring forward. Because the only thing stopping us is our own self-sabotaging mechanism. We've got plenty of, you know, oh, I could do this, or maybe that's my sole purpose. But it's the stuff that holds us back in our body that says, whoa, put on the brakes, I'm not so sure about that. But what yeah. we want to do today is feel that sense of, we are so expansive, and home is there for us. It's the place where our soul comes to rest. It gets fed. It gets nourished. It's held. It's taken care of. Mm. And when we have all of that for our soul, then it can come flying in and be on fire like we're talking about and giving you the experience of Darius and I today. Yeah, I love this idea of, you know, this home place because when we feel that, when we connect into that, there is a place of safety, of oneness, of knowing. It's actually, as we've done it together, it's what I felt in my outer body experience or near-death experience that I had. It was that truth about me. What does it look like? What do, what does it look like in our lives when we really are separate from that home space? How does it show up? 
in our day-to-day oh, it, it's, struggle. Yeah, in every way, shape, and form. <laughs> For, the biggest one I'm seeing these days is just feeling darn stuck and overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. The other one is this feeling that, now, why would I want to come into this world anyway? Because the power in this world is so weird and nothing I really want to be part of. It's We're misguided. It, the power is misused. I'm not so sure it's sort of caught between a rock and a hard place. I'm not so sure I really want to engage, emerge, mm. get embodied, come forward. So the brakes are on in part of us, and that will impact us in our immune system, physical challenges, emotionally feeling lack of motivation, depressed, anxiety on fight or flight, you know, our adrenal shutdown, you name it, because mm. we don't have that universal power of our soul igniting our life because we're going, oh, I don't know about using that in this world because it's just going to get destroyed. Now, that may not be conscious, but it's unconsciously running things. So how it helps us is to get us moving again, feeling safe to bring in our true power. And how we feel now is it's not safe to be who we are in this world. I'm not even sure I want to get in touch with my purpose because mm. that's when the bad stuff happens, so to speak. And if we, you know, if we live the other way, where we don't really know who we are or what we really are, mm-hmm. that those stories we see over and over again, they don't always end well. People can accumulate wealth. They can accumulate great things, fans and followers and all sorts of things, and yet they end up not always moving in a good direction. Elvis Presley yeah. and all of the celebrities that sort of have so much and they're still unhappy. I mean, yeah. we can truly shift today in a really big way. Let's go into this yeah. place because we've got a lot of sensitive souls here as well. And and the the people that are tuning into this call, what would you say about them? Are they... Uh, from another time, Pleiadians, Arturians, are they um, souls that have been around a while, old souls, are they new souls? Is there anything that you find in communities like ours or as you read the energy sure. of the community that, of course, makes us special? Yes, you are very special because I call you multidimensional, high-level souls. And you are from different worlds, even different universes. And when I do sessions with people, I can describe more where you are from, which helps you understand that. But the sensitivity is a combination, I'm finding, this whole overly empathic, taking on negative energies and all of that. Being sensitive is great. It means you can be more perceptive, wise, and in tune with these larger energies. But if you're not in tune with the larger energies and you don't have them available in you, that's, again, the soul fire ignited like a flame inside you, then you burn yourself out uh, being overly empathic, trying to, in essence, get rid of the negative energy in the world by taking it on. Mm. That's what overly empathic people do. It's it's a soul, what I call a soul challenge. We were de- not designed to be that overly empathic. I love helping people get back on track with being sensitive. Darius and I are sensitive, thank goodness, to energy so we can feel the expanse and the sense of our soul and the sense of soul purpose. But we don't take on other people's energies because we are so solidly in our own soul purpose. There's no room in the inn to try to change other people and take on their negative energy. We're just inspiring people moment by moment. Mm, I, I agree. And we're getting a bunch of questions coming in from a lot of people uh, wanting to discover their soul purpose. Sure. In the world, there's so much going on. I mean, we're in a time of great change, great turmoil, a lot of truths being revealed, a lot of things maybe <laughs> coming forward we didn't expect. How do we stay connected? Because the number one thing I hear is people feel, and many times I feel, like I said earlier in the call, that if the outer world sort of dictates my reality or my thoughts or where my energy flows from, I'm pretty much lost at that. I mean, even myself, I can slip back in to patterns that do not serve. How do we stay in command of that? Well, we stay in command of that by being able to hold that connection experientially in our heart 
and we're going to learn how to do it in our abdomen today as well so that you always have a touchstone within you that you can, in essence, grab and make the choice, I have this with me. Everything else is a uh, an outer belief of somebody else's, and instead of being thrown all over the place, it's like, oh, I have this solid place within me that is my soul sense and my soul sense of purpose, and I want to hold that. It can be a metaphor or a symbol, all sorts of things that we can do to stay connected experientially. That is the key. And what I find is that all the mechanisms we have that we call uh, uh, fear, overwhelm, it's all too much out there, it's a scary world, is a pr- protection mechanism to try to keep us from being influenced by the world. Now, we put those protection mechanisms in a long time ago. But hmm. here's the good news, and this is huge. We put them in to serve us because un- back of those protective mechanisms that we put in place, fear, overwhelm, don't want to move forward, whatever it is, is a sacred treasure that we are trying to protect, which is our soul and our soul purpose. So we want to today unlock that sense of that soul treasure within so we can dissolve the protective mechanism. It was doing its job. We're not trying to clear all the fear. We're not trying to just love ourselves more. We are going to get the buried treasure that was so important to us that we had to hold it sacred and Mm. keep it in a safe place. So we put all sorts of walls around it. And then we boundary ourselves and stuff like that. And it's like, no, 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 we don't need to do that. But we do need to give this deeper part of ourselves permission to come forward and feel safe and inspired and loved enough to do that. Hello and welcome. This is Derry Sparazande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're going to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.